is it at least you're still playing games where when you go into the game you're mathematically alive does that make it easier just easy just to you know you don't have to give speeches or anything they kind of know yeah. what's, what's ahead of them. you know and i said it before yesterday's game um you know everybody likes to play in big meaningful games and um i think we're uh well past the the point of realizing that these are uh uh, the situation we're in and these are these are big games and this is where you want to see how guys respond and guys rise to the challenge and we certainly had uh well, it was a good team game but we certainly had some individual guys step up yesterday i had a chance to talk to you since uh, last weekend but what you know what, you, you knew what was on the state going in what happened those first couple games in the weekend you know what the binghamton game like i said i overall i i thought uh our game was okay we just we just had a couple we had two just Latent turnovers for breakaways uh, against the skilled team. Uh, we just had some individual mistakes, and it's not really to point fingers at guys. Uh, uh, we did stick with it. We we wanted to have a good third period. We came out and, and scored two quick ones, and, and uh, I think by the nine minute mark uh, had it at five three. But uh, you just you know you spot that much of a lead, obviously it, it, you get yourself in trouble. But unfortunately, you know really all five goals were. A direct result of, of someone making a bad decision with a puck or, or a blunder with the puck or two of them were just defensive lapses where we were standing beside the guy we just didn't have him tied up and they were both tips so um you know it, that was a tough one to give away because i think if we play the you know if we don't make those mistakes on the other side of it we, we had a ton of chances so we did a lot of good things offensively with the puck it just some breakdowns defensively and then some turnovers in the neutral zone that were really costly um Saturday was a little bit of a different story, a, a different team, a tighter game. Uh, okay first, uh, I thought we had a good second and, and didn't, again, capitalize on some chances we had. And, um, they, they capitalized on it, got a bad angle goal that I think Clemmer probably would have wanted to have back. But uh, And then the third period was, was you know, they, a pretty tight checking game. So, you know, you come into that weekend, you you know, not to take anything away from being on 10, but you're, 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 you're hopeless. You come out of there with planning to come out of there with two points, and then you know you're going to have a tough uh, contest uh, in the next two nights. You know that's really you know looking back on it, how I looked at it, um, and then a little frustrated to be heading into Worcester and not have anything. But again, I like the way that that we responded and against a team that also needed you know they just needed a point to clinch. So uh, you know there's nothing we can do about it now. We got to move on. Is it important to you to uh, you know it's, it's obviously highly unlikely you're going to make the playoffs, but is it important to you to if you're going to be eliminated, have someone else win as opposed to having you lose? Well, I no question. I mean, you know, anything can happen here. And, and you know, Portland's got a tough schedule. You know, we don't know what's you – know, you never know. It's a tough building to play in St. John's for Springfield. So, you know, our focus just has to be on, on Friday night and, and, and in a tough building against a good team uh, that still needs points here as well. Uh, we did it last night against a good team that needs points top of the conference. Uh, and top of the division so uh, you know I don't think you look at it as a meaningful game are we going to get in you know right now we just have to focus on what we can control and that's you know the first period Friday night. You've been in a kind of a playoff situation in the last couple of weeks or are you drawing on last year's experience at all? Uh, I think last year was a little bit different in the sense we were in a little better position uh, we still had to win some games down the stretch but it's a prime example I think we finished five in a row uh, uh, and clinched on the second last day. So we're, 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 we're gonna, we didn't need help last year. Uh, but, uh, uh, with that being said, um, you know, we, we still can control, uh, these last two games and really, uh, you know, put some heavy pressure on, on, uh, some teams that, that have to play Sunday if, if, uh, if we take care of what we take care of and, and, and they're, they're in that situation. So, um, you know, I, I think the guys that were here last year um, certainly can draw from that experience, but we haven't discussed it uh, or it hasn't been a focal point. You almost, it's kind of an unusual situation where you could be playing Saturday and be in a playoff position and lose it afterwards. It almost sounds like you relish that, that you'd rather, you know, okay, let's win our games, put the pressure on them. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. And we, we've already talked, it'll be kind of weird, you know, sitting here if we're in a spot and, and we're relying on that last game. But it, it, that that's hockey. I mean, you look at the NHL, the how it came down, but it, it'll be a little strange if we're sitting here Sunday. Uh hitting that refresh button every five minutes to to see what the score is but hopefully we give ourselves that opportunity and and um you know put that pressure on on uh, that team
Can I give you AHL live here? <laughs> I don't know if I'll watch it. Uh, <laughs> that might be more nerve wracking than than uh, just uh, getting the updates. But uh, I hope I'm in that situation. Uh, personal wise, just missing the three guys injury wise. Uh, Timmons. Uh, yeah, just gave some guys uh, just some maintenance days for for some guys. But everybody's uh, uh, an option. Everybody else. Everybody's is an option. Going to, everyone's yep. going to Wilkes Barre. Yes.